Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, Trip Gaming versus my boy Logan JYA. Before we get started, I want everybody right now. Logan is my homie, bro. And he does not have as many subscribers as he deserves. He deserves a hundred kajillion subscribers. So before we get into this video, I want you guys to stop what you're doing and smash the subscribe button for my boy Logan. And we're going to duel off here and he's going to be using one of the most insane strategies of the meta. It's coming right here right now don't miss it let's go triff versus logan ignite inferno ball versus drytron ftk that's right he is playing the drytron thunder ruler ftk and it is so incredibly consistent this is going to be a match for the ages it's basically ftk versus ftk so i'm going to put up like literally an absurdly broken board as logan is and this is for any combo duelist like, you guys gotta watch this whole video. This is gonna blow your guys' mind. Whether you wanna play the coolest combo deck in the planet, which is Ignite Inferno Bull Draco Slayers, or if you guys wanna watch Logan's insane match as well, you guys gotta check it out. But you guys gotta make sure, whatever you do, whatever option you decide, you gotta smash the subscribe button for both. And deck football coming with Logan at the end of the video, so stay tuned, boys. Here, we set up a hero before the pen summon. We insane. You always wanna set up the, the, the protection. And now, even if he has Niv Veiler, we're still protected because we call Coliseum Alarming Fossil and the token and the Basil Rose Shoot. So we're actually, even if we got Nibiru and like Impermed or something, we are still going to be able to resolve our our Scythe Lock with the Regulus. So even with, with Niv Veiler, we're good. That's why this deck's absurd. Double Ignite left. Like, like it's actually crazy what this deck does. Truly insane. Uh, we go Power Tool. Like, oh, I love this deck, guys, so much. I really think this deck is, is just the best deck. Going second, it just breaks boards like it's nothing. Uh, I truly love it. Like, it, like it's truly insane. Uh, here, we're going to set up, like, any board we want. We set up Regulus. Set up Gear Freed over here with a full, massive board. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I know he's playing Drytron. This is Logan. You know, he always plays Drytron. So I was debating. I don't think dark, I don't think they play Dark Ruler, but there was a chance. So I was debating making Apoloza with a Needle Fiber and setting up a Crocosaur. But setting up the Crocosaur, Crocosaur Croco Dragon game one, it seems kind of, like, pointless. So here, I just negate just in case he is playing the Dark Ruler. If he starts to prosperity, he clearly doesn't have it. And then the resolution, I'm just going to be able to hit him with the Scythe. And that's just too much. Uh, now game number two. I open absolutely insane here. I have five insane cards. And my top deck for turn is Lava Golem. You guys don't know it now, but you're going to see it later. Literally, I have top deck Lava Golem for turn. I can't lose this duel. Uh, but as you guys see from the card in my man's hand over here, it is Thunder of Ruler. He is going to end up skipping my standby phase. Skipping my main phase. And because the main phase was skipped, it goes straight to end phase. I don't have a main phase too. Uh, I just go straight to battle phase. And if, if you don't have a, a main phase, one, there's no other main phase. So you just go to end phase. Uh, super unfortunate. And uh, insane follow-up for him. And there's just nothing I can do. I literally have Lava Golem. I'm like, my goodness. What, what actual copium. And his deck list is going to be on the channel right here very shortly. So make sure to check that out. Here, I'm going to go for Summoner's Art. And look at my hand, guys. If you open four Ignites, this is literally an FTK. I could do this hand a few different ways. I opt to do it uh, just the typical way, which I'm just going to get a uh, Sublim Knight here. I'm going to go Squeak Knight. This is going to get me a Soul Day. This is going to get me an Ignite. Uh, this is going to search me the Ignis Draco Slayer. Uh, this is just insane, bro. Like When you open like this, there's really nothing that, that could be done to save the opponent. Uh, it, it's really just too much. I search Phoenix. Always search Phoenix Blade, especially game two and three, because Phoenix Blade is going to give you the discard of Croc Croc Dragon, and it's also going to give you the discard of Majesty Maiden when it's going to come out right now. So I use Majesty Maiden to discard the Phoenix Blade. We're not going to add that one back for free. Here we go, Needle Fiber. Rose, Dra Rose Dragons are absurd in this deck because you get three level three tuners, and you have every mo every level you want in the game. You're playing Ignites, so your plays are just endless here. Uh, I set up a deck, duh. this is all before my pen summon, I'm like, bro, my deck's just actually crazy. I set up, uh, before my pen summon, I set up Apoloza, Regulus, and, and Herald, because Needle Fiber is a machine you can make at any time. This is all before my pen summon, which is just crazy. I'm like, and then I'm like, you know what, Regulus is going to take up too much space in my board, so I'm just not going to even summon the Regulus. Apoloza, Herald's enough, stop for Nibiru Imperm, more than enough. Uh, so here, I'm going to summon out this, I'm going to go Croc, I'm going to draw, I'm going to put those into Isolde, which I've not gone into, uh... I think I was actually creating space. That's what I was doing. I needed space with my soul day. Uh, I just made, made space. That's all I needed there. Uh, and then at this point, uh, if I wanted to, I could pop my, my Ignites to search uh, Phoenix Gear Freed to summon down the field. But then I can't draw phase hit him with the Phoenix with the, with the Croc. So I draw phase hit him with the Croc to hit Scythe. And now I'm left with Herald, Regulus, and Apoloza. And... Uh, I definitely stopped the prosperity here, and I'm like, all I gotta stop is the guy that attacks every all my monsters. That's all I have to stop here. So I have, I have double Apoloza. It's gonna be a lot. So I Apoloza, Apoloza. He goes Zeta. I'm like, all right, I'm just definitely gonna stop that. 
He goes bent on add, and there's nothing you could do. He did his best. He did very well there, but uh, this uh, both our decks are just literally an, almost an FTK. They're just too insane. Uh, this is the deck list that I used against him. Also, deck list I used against Robbie Cole, uh, and also against Susu, which uh, that is gonna be the next one against Head to Head Battles, where I utilize Ignite Inferno Bolt and I just tear up the whole community, baby. Who's next, bro? Who's next? Who's next? No one can stop me. This deck is too insane. It's just truly unstoppable. Uh, if you guys have any questions about this deck, feel free to ask me on Patreon. I answer all deck profile questions, all Yu-Gi-Oh questions in general on Patreon. I answer all questions. And if you guys have any questions about Logan's deck, I'm going to shoot this one off to Logan now, who's going to explain his deck, deck profile. His deck's absolutely insane, guys. And much respect to Logan. That's my fucking homie. So right now, I don't want you guys to just subscribe to Trip Gaming. I want all 69 thousand of you guys nice to also subscribe to my boy logan right here right now with that being said i'm gonna hand it off to logan hope you guys enjoy the video pen best deck and one last thing i want to say is that if you're not playing ignite inferno bolt post october you're doing something wrong boys this deck is insane pick your cards up now draco slayer best deck i'm handing it off to logan see you guys in the next video peace what's going on guys logan jya here and as you probably saw i got a little bit obliterated here but uh this drytron build is still an insane deck shout out to my boy triff gaming for letting me come on here briefly talk about this build uh in case you guys saw it is a pseudo ftk strategy that skips the opponent's turn i'm not going to go over drytron basics here if you want to see that you're more than welcome to slide over to my channel or my twitch stream where we cover drytron all the time but i'm let you guys know the real win condition of this strategy here is our boy amor factor pain combined with thunder of ruler which completely skips your opponent's turn that's right for those of you who don't understand that game mechanic when a more factor pain is successfully ritual summoned skips your opponent's main phase one when thunder of ruler resolves it skips their battle phase if a player cannot enter their main phase one or their battle phase their turn proceeds to the end phase which means it comes back to you and you're more than welcome to kill them so that's pretty much the main strategy of this one you guys can see the list here uh, I'm going to do a profile on it in the future, I'm absolutely sure. We also do a flag, we're siding the other two Thunder of Rulers for going first, because hard opening it makes it a lot easier, and if you're wondering how we access the Thunder of Ruler, let's just say that we found a way to uh, maybe send it to the graveyard, and then reset it after summoning Amor Factor Pain. So... Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to smash that like button. Slide over to my channel if you want more Yu-Gi-Oh! content as well. And shout out to the man, the myth, the legend, Triff Gaming. Peace, guys.